Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have Grammy in the kitchen with me and she's going to be sharing with us on how she makes her bunjal pork. This right here is such a quick and easy recipe and if you eat pork, trust me, you are going to enjoy this. It is spicy, flavorful, and the pork is super tender. The first thing that we need to do is steam our pork meat. So in our karahi here, we added in all of the pork meat with a little bit of oil, not too much because it's going to release its own fat and juices. And the pork is already seasoned with garlic powder, onion powder, adobo, some fresh culantro, fresh garlic, and a little bit of black pepper. You can season it with whatever seasonings you want. But once you get it in the pot, you're going to crank it up to a high heat and let all of those juices release. And our pork meat was a little bit frozen still because Grammy had seasoned it and then put it in the freezer a couple of weeks ago just to make the process simpler. But all you want is for all of those juices to dry up and for it to start frying up in the pan a little bit. Now once the pork meat has released all of its juices and everything dries up very well, you're going to start to cover it with water. What we're doing here is we're going to boil the meat so this way the meat is nice and tender and we don't have to cook it too much later. So what, this is to let it cook, mm -hmm. like um, get tender, right? Yes, and then cook up the masala. Oh. Now while the pork meat is boiling, we are going to start making the spice mixture. In a bowl here, we're going to go in with some homemade masala as well as some curry powder. And on top of that curry powder and masala that we've mixed together, we're going to be going in with some pureed garlic and hot wiri wiri peppers. Now for anything bunjal, especially a very heavy meat like pork, you need a lot of garlic and a lot of pepper to really give it a good flavor and allow everything to marry together well. And while the pork is cooking and after you finish making your spice mixture and you set those aside, you're going to slice up some onions to put into the cooking process later on. I just wanted to come back and show you all the pork meat. This is about three quarters of the way into the cooking process. As you all can see, there's a little bit of water left. It's on a high heat still and we're waiting for all of that water to bubble off. You want the pork meat to be tender by the end of this process, so if you need to keep on adding water until it is nice and soft, then feel free to keep adding water and letting it cook. Our pork meat has dried up very well and it started to saute in its own juices and the oil and the fat that it released. So we're going to remove it from the pot now because this pork is actually done cooking. We're going to add it into the spice mixture later on so this way it can finish up the cooking process. Now once you remove the pork from the pot, you're going to be adding in some oil. You can use any light tasting oil of your choice. And once that oil starts to heat up on a medium, medium high heat, it is time to go in with all of those onions that we sliced up earlier, as well as some chopped scallions. For this recipe, I recommend using a lot of onions, a lot of scallions, lots of garlic, and lots of pepper. With things like this, you need a lot of flavor, so this way it does not taste, you know, one note and there's lots of things going on in the recipe. And once the onions and the scallions soften up a little bit, after about one to two minutes of cooking, you're going to go in with that curry or spice paste that we made earlier. This was the curry, the masala, the ground garlic, and the hot pepper that we mixed up well together. And once you add this in, you're going to cook it for about five to six minutes or until it starts to stick a little bit at the bottom and it starts to dry up a little bit and develop those flavors. Now at this point, Grammy is going to be going in with some frozen culantro and that's just because she had it on hand and what she does is she chops it up and she freezes it. So this way, whenever she's cooking curry or anything that she wants to add it into, she can just add in a little scoopful straight from the freezer. You can add in whatever herbs that you want to at this point. If you wanted to add in thyme, parsley, celery, or even your green seasoning if you had it, Feel free to add any of that in at this point. And like every curry recipe that I make or that Grammy makes, she always salts the curry mixture very well. The reason being is because when you salt your curry paste while it cooks, it adds a different flavor to the curry versus when you season it towards the end. And this part is 100% optional. Not a lot of people like to do it or prefer to do it, but Grammy does it once in a while. She doesn't do it all the time, but she's going in with just a little bit of tomato paste. And when I say a little bit, I mean about a teaspoon or even less of tomato paste. And this is also a little bit of a different ingredient to be adding into this recipe, but Grammy goes in with just a drop of casrip. Again, this is optional, but if you want it to develop the color very nicely and have a nice dark, rich brown color, then add just a little bit in and you're going to see exactly what we are talking about. It is absolutely delicious and it le leaves a nice color on the pork. And once the spice mixture cooks properly, Properly and the oil is released, you're going to be going in with all of that pork that we had cooked earlier. All we're going to do now is lower the heat to a medium, medium low and let it fry up low and slow with all of those spices until it clings to the pork meat. And after about another 10 to 15 minutes, that pork meat has cooked very well with the spices and everything is clinging to it. What Grammy likes to do to finish this dish off is add in a little bit of black pepper. If you have freshly cracked black pepper, that's even better for a nicer flavor. And she also goes in with a little bit of roasted ground cumin or jeera. And this is going to add a nice deep flavor to the pork as well. 
but at this point it is done cooking, ready to serve with some dal and rice, or you can even serve it as cutters or a snack. And this is how Grammy makes her bunjal pork. Super delicious, nice and spicy, and very flavorful. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Drop those comments down below, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye everyone!